आमच चैनल सब्सक्राइब करा और बेल आयकॉन व क्लिक करू नवीन नए वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन्स मिलवा square 
here is the AB and plus B C square. That means AB square plus B C square. You are doing equation on both sides by AC square. You are doing both sides by AC square. Then we get the relationship as or equation AC square divided by AC square. S square divided by S square, AB square divided by S square plus BC square divided by S square. You see here, S square divided by S square. That means it is one. Next, AB square upon S square. It can be written in another way. AB divided by AC bracket square. It is also represented in another way. BC upon AC bracket square. See here AB upon AC. AB upon AC means show the sine theta. That means here is the square. So it can be written as sine square theta. Plus next one is BC upon AC. BC upon AC that means cos theta. That square. So it can be written as a cos square theta. It is a trigonometric identity is first equation. By using this equation, we can solve the remaining two identities. One is equal to sine square theta plus cos square theta. Dividing this equation by sine square theta. Dividing both sides by sine square theta. Then equation become one upon sin square theta is equal to sin square theta divided by sin square theta plus cos square theta divided by sin square theta. One upon sin square theta. That means sin square is inversely proportional to the cos theta. That means it can be written as one upon sin theta. That means cos theta. Here is the square, so it can be write as cosine square theta is equal to sine square theta divided by sine square theta equal to it can be written as 1 plus cos square theta upon sine square theta it is the ratio represent the tan square it can be written as cos square theta upon sine square theta it can be written as cos square theta this is the second trigonometric identities cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta Thus, that trigonometric identity is so the relationship between cos theta and cot theta. Next one is the another example. Third trigonometric identity is we can also prove that by using the trigonometric first identities. One is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta. Dividing by this equation by cos square theta. Dividing both sides by cos square theta. The equation become 1 upon cos square theta. 1 upon cos square theta is equal to sin square theta upon cos square theta. Plus cos square theta upon cos square theta. Then 1 upon cos square theta, that means it is a universally related to sec six, six theta. Here is the square, so we can return as sec square theta is equal to sin square theta upon cos square theta. It can be shown the tan square theta. Plus cos square theta upon cos square theta, it is 1. This is the third trigonometric identity. First trigonometric identity is 1 is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta. Second is the cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta. Third is the sec square theta plus tan square theta plus, uh, sorry, sec square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1. Now we can study here the example basis on the trigonometric ratios and trigonometric identities. First example, we can see here if sin theta is 7 by 25, find the value of cos theta and tan theta. Sin theta is 7 upon 25. We can find 
Thank you. 